In this video, we're going to learn about some features available in the Sheet Metal module of Designer. With this module, it is possible to design, modify, fix and prepare geometry for processing sheet metal parts for cutting and bending. Let's take a closer look. The first stage of processing sheet metal parts is ensuring the geometry is manufacturable. We do this in Designer by using the set part properties command to assign material and bending parameters using the data available. This process will create a developed blank which can be seen by toggling the view. Our part unfolds well already, so let's look at a few ways to prepare our geometry for manufacture. This part could be neater near the pivot, so we could make an adjustment of these faces. Using the Move Faces command, select the faces required. We can use the Tangent Faces Selection filter to help with this. If we use Offset and Reblend to offset these faces, we can snap them to the back edge. See in the preview that we have also changed the size of the internal hole. Turn off Move Concentric Faces and apply. Toggle the view to see the result. It can be useful to stretch the flanges of a sheet metal part, often snapping it to the geometry of the part itself or other parts in an assembly. To do this, select the edge Drag the slider and snap it to the geometry and right click to apply. We can also add flanges. It can be very useful in this command to use the measurement menu to match the bend radius to other geometry. Using the front view is useful in helping us see the geometry. You can see on this corner we have a watertight corner relief. But if we are preparing this for punch manufacturing, we might want this to be changed. We could add a square corner relief, or from the drop down we can select circular corner relief. Select one of the edges near our corner. Adjust the parameters as required. And right click to apply. And toggle the view to see the outcome. When working with the sheet metal module, we also have the other designer tools available to us. Let's finish by seeing how we can use the wireframe tools to help neaten this part further. From the wireframe tab, select Project on Workplane. It would often be required for us to create a new workplane before using this tool, but we can use the absolute workplane as long as we make sure to select the XZ plane. 
Next, we need to choose the wire edge geometry to project onto this plane. We are looking to make a closed region, so turning region on will be helpful. Now back on the sheet metal tab, we can choose add tab. This will use the selected geometry to extend the flange into a more complex face. Always remember to right click to apply the preview. and toggle to view our unfold.